You know that hemoglobin A, adult hemoglobin, is a tetramer with two alpha globin chains and two beta globin chains. The beta globin is on chromosome 11, and duplicated alpha genes are on chromosome 16. A minor hemoglobin, hemoglobin A2, has two delta chains also on chromosome 11 and two alpha chains from chromosome 16. Fetal hemoglobin is made from two gamma chains also from chromosome 11 and two alpha chains from chromosome 16. As the names adult and fetal imply, there is a developmental aspect to these proteins. If you follow globin synthesis from early in gestation to infancy and beyond, you'll see that alpha chains are consistently produced at a high level, gamma chain production is high early in fetal life, then starts to switch off before birth. The decreased gamma production is balanced by a mirror image increase in beta production. Delta globin remains at low levels late in gestation and beyond. The assembled hemoglobins at these different stages are exactly what you would predict. Early in pregnancy, virtually all the hemoglobin is F. At birth, there is more fetal than adult hemoglobin, and in the older infant and adult, the dominant hemoglobin is A, with very small amounts of F and A2. As you will learn, although some situations can turn on hemoglobin F production in adult life, Hemoglobin A2 production always stays low, so finding a slight increase in the percent of A2 on a hemoglobin electrophoresis is a clue that there is a decrease in beta production.